Hello, this is Clawpaw321, and this is PHP My Admin and MySQL Tutorial 07. Now I'm going to have to go a little bit quick on this one. Uh, the plan here is to make kind of a guestbook where people can just leave comments on a page. So first we're just going to make a uh, database for guestbook and create it, of course. And then we're going to create a table which is called entries and we're going to have to have a few fields so we want to have an ID which is one we want to have the name of the person the date it was posted and the comment and that's four items so I'm going to put in four for the fields and I'm going to fill out the data I'm going to pause it and uh, fill it out myself now that they're filled out I'm going to uh, to submit it but just a quick uh, what I've done is I've made this auto increment the index is a primary um, key and that would be the ID and the length is 255 numbers and so on and text does not need a length so now I just go and save and now I have a table so first I'm going to make an example that I can use in PHP and that would be I'm just going to put in a name so name here and I'm going to put in this uh, uh, Unix timestamp thing here, which uh, is an automatic timestamp that you don't have to put in PHP uh, yourself. And then the comment is uh, bad spelling, or whatever. And blah blah. People do that all the time. And I'm going to click on go. And now I'm going to have this SQL statement, which I can use. So. I have this uh, PHP file here. I'm going to open up the uh, previous one, which has the information on connecting to a database. I'm going to copy that in a second here. And I'm going to say the SQL is that. And then I'm going to copy in the connection information. So um, at this point, because I've made a uh, new database, I'm going to change that information here uh, to guestbook and change this here. And that's it. So now I'm going to uh, put in a variable here and a comment variable here. So now my SQL is almost ready to be executed. Well, first I need a form uh, for the person to send through, so I'm going to copy this one from uh, w3schools.com, which is a uh, a site that has many different things in it uh, related to the web. And now I'm going to just put in a uh, name there, and I'm going to put in name here, and then for the comment, I'm going to put in a um, a text area which is a multi-line text box and I'm going to uh, put the name as comment of course and uh, then I'm going to end this uh, text area and of course then we have the submit button and I'm going to put another uh, break return after that so, of course, this is not totally valid HTML, but uh, it gets the job done here. So I'm going to refresh my page here. So uh, let me put another break return here. And um, so we have this name, comment, and if I try putting something in and I send it, um, nothing happens. Um, and the reason why it was acting weird is because I've not set my action to question mark, which refers back to this page. I'm going to change my method to uh, post instead of get and I do not need a name on my form so if I refresh now I should be able to send stuff to the same page but nothing happens there because I've not set anything for uh, for anything to happen so I'm going to say uh, dollar sign name equals the trim uh, dollar sign underscore request of uh, the name and I'm going to say 
uh, comment equals pretty much the same thing, except that I have the word comment where name is in this section here. And now I'm going to say if strlin of uh, r sign name is greater than zero, which means that there's something, uh, then I'm going to see if the strlin or string string length of the comment is greater than zero because we don't want people just putting in blank stuff. Now what we want to do is an else so that we can say echo you did not put in a name. I mean a comment. And also I want to do an else and do a detection if they put in a comment. I'm going to say in uh, which this section right here will say um, that you got a comment but not a name. So I'm going to uh, pretty much have that right there. But um, at this point, uh, what is what's happened is that um, my text is now ready, uh, which is what I want. So, uh, or everything's filled out. That's uh, what I mean there. So at this point in the code, everything I need is filled out, but I just need to prepare the SQL statement and execute it. So I'm going to say the name equals my SQL real escape string, and that uh, pre protects the uh, string that you put in from having possible uh, injection. Now it's not perfect, but it works uh, best in most cases. There are other things like Chinese characters that can uh, mess it up because they're multi-byte and does not filter it out. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, with uh, my SQL real escape name, I mean string, and uh, put in comment. So now the SQL is pretty much ready. So I'm just going to uh, to uh, go here, and I'm about to execute it. So I'm going to say my SQL query SQL, and that's all I have to do there. So now I want to have uh, I want to show the previous comments because if I go here and I go here and I submit it, then it should, in theory, uh, be in my uh, uh, stuff here. As you can see, uh, the date is different than before because it's automatic and it has the same content that I put in randomly. So I have that going on, but I want to show the information. So I can go. Uh, copy this information right here and I can just pretty much do the same thing uh, as that so I'm going to say SQL equals and then so on with that and I'm going to uh, get a result from a query and uh, I'm going to query this SQL and uh, try to get a result from it uh, or in other words the rows so I'm going to say now uh, well um, a row is equal to MySQL fetch array and I'm going to put in the result and now I'm going to process each row individually so I'm going to say um, uh, let's see here dollar sign row uh, name dot said and then I'm going to put in block uh, quotes and then I'm going to put in the comment right here. So I'm going to say uh, row comment as I believe it is set here, yes. Um, and then I'm going to go back to HTML and end the comment, I mean the block quote tag. And then that's pretty much it. Then I'm going to do a break return and that should be simple enough to get our guest book showing previous uh, entries here we have it and I'm going to make it so it shows the latest uh, by doing um, uh, let's see order uh, by uh, ID